Hey everybody, Andy Sachs here with Coldwell Banker and the Around Town team for our next installment of our monthly, twice monthly video and podcast blog series. And today we're going to dig right into the numbers, what's going on in the market in our general market area. It's interesting guys, it's really interesting. You've heard me say this is a broken record uh, over the past several years that we're relatively flat, but more than ever it is price point driven. Overall, last month to this month, we're down about 2% in list price of current listings, and on median sales price, we're down 1%. What does that mean typically? Well, it means we're flat. But why are we seeing a decrease at all? The issue there really is on the upper end driving the overall averages down. We're on the lower end, we're seeing much more competitive sales, competitive bidding, multiple bidding, and even some prices above asking that we wouldn't necessarily expect. So obviously you've got higher price ticket homes, selling for less, lower price selling for more, the higher price is gonna weigh on our overall averages. But what does this mean going forward and, and where are we going? Where is our market going? The overarching issue continues to be Connecticut's fundamental business climate and challenges in my humble opinion. And listen, I, I, I don't really fall on either side of the fence of the political spectrum. I see merit you know, on, on both sides, but you can't deny that Connecticut is fiscally um, uh, in trouble and continues to be. And we're going to need leadership that's going to be able to get us out of that. And we're looking at a 10-year turnaround once that leadership finally arises. I'm not sure we have that leadership now. I think it's to be determined. But at the end of the day, if we don't have it, we're looking at a long trudge here through, um, you know, through some murky waters. Um, luckily, the national economy is strong. And I think that's what's going to keep us flat. But any turn in that could drive us back down further here in Connecticut. Now, some silver lining aspects here. I always like to find the glass half full. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been an interesting year, um, but we are seeing buyers in the market at all price ranges. So there are folks out there that want to buy homes, want to buy homes here in Connecticut. A lot of them are coming out of the New York market, believe it or not, because of tax advantages in Connecticut when you're talking about how much you can write off on your taxes from, um, from your home. Uh, it's capped at $10,000 a year right now, and the property taxes in parts of New York on homes here that might be $10,000 could be twenty, thirty, dollars or 40000 So they're seeing that tax advantage here, making their community a little bit longer, but getting great schools and a great environment in which to live. So that's a benefit. We do have buyers out there. Now, the challenge with these buyers is they can be, rightfully so, pickier on what they're trying to buy. They're waiting for the right home. They know it'll come along. They've got time to wait. Rarely is it today that a buyer says, Andy, I got to be in a house in 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. More so the conversation goes, Andy, we want you to be a partner in this. And when we find the right house, we're going to go for it. And we're going to make sure we're paying the right amount. They're not trying to steal homes. They're not trying to lowball folks. But they want to make sure, hey, you know, we saw what the recession did. We've seen what the past decade has been like here in Connecticut. And we want to make sure we're protecting our backside here. And I, I, you know what? I can't blame them. So from a seller's perspective, what can you do? What, you know, you sit there and say, well, Andy, they're gonna wait. They're gonna wait for the deal. They wanna steal it. You know, they, they don't wanna steal it. But as a seller, what you can do is prepare. And we urge our sellers to get in touch with us three, four, five, six months or a year in advance of when you're gonna sell if you have that luxury of planning. So we can really plan a room by room attack on how your home is gonna best be suited for the market. And then if there are some funds that have to be expended to get it ready, you're not doing it all in a condensed time period. You can spread it out over several months to get it ready. And typically we're talking minor repairs, painting, maybe changing out vanities, things like that that shouldn't really break the bank, but will bring value to buyers in today's market. Today's buyers don't want to do the work. A lot of them will take it on, but they're going to have to buy it at the right price. Most of them would prefer to move in and not half to do anything right away. So keep that in mind as a seller. Now, where's the market going moving forward to the next couple months? It's more of the same. There's really no reason to believe it's gonna get better. There's no really reason to believe it's gonna get worse. So be smart if you're a buyer, take your time. If you're a seller, cater to the buyer market. It's what we have to do to sell properties these days. And it's not as intimidating as you might think. My name is Andy Sachs with Coldwell Banker and the Around Town team, and we look forward to working with you soon.